Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis here at Our Echo Yoga. Thank you for choosing to push this little button and for being on this journey with me today. And it's perfect for uh, the, the essence of what this practice is. And this practice is about choicefulness. It's about focus. It's about mindfulness. It's about uh, really tuning in with what we're feeding. Like, what are we feeding with our breath? What are we feeding with our practice? What are we feeding with our relationships? What are we feeding with the way that we think about ourselves? What are we feeding with what we put energy into? And so I encourage you to take a seat, sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders, shut the eyes down, relax the muscles in the forehead. Can take some jaw circles. A lot of us hold tension in the jaw, make funny faces, nobody can see you. And relax all the muscles in the face. Let even the lips be slightly parted. Come into awareness of your breath first. So equal inhalations and exhalations through the nostrils as the body really settles into presence from whatever it was that you were doing before or whatever it is that you will be doing after. Just like life, instead of focusing on what's next or what could be, Appreciate this moment right here, right now. For some reason, you've chosen to push the button to go on this journey with me, to choose yourself in this moment, to be in your breath, so be it fully. For so many of us, the novelty of life becomes very distracting. There is a another practice to do, or an errand to run, or a conversation to have, or food to be eaten, or another relationship to to look into. But can we just be here in this moment, in our practice, in our breath, in presence, fully choosing? And how often do we fully choose any one thing, especially ourselves? Let's take an inhale, stretch the arms up, take your time. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, bring it down to heart center. And as you do, open the palms like you're holding a little lotus flower in the center. Fingers open up and just bring the thumbs to the sternum. You can still keep the eyes closed. There's this cup almost created in your hands. And just visualizing, what are you feeding in your life? What are you feeding in your practice? What are your choices in life? And for me, I'm choosing patience. I'm choosing self-love. I'm choosing self-inquiry. Imagine the things that are important to you pouring into this cup as you water it with all the nutrients that it needs to succeed, to be planted firmly in the roots of your own grounding. Okay, press the palms together, bowing the head lightly. And just a tiny prayer or intention here for your practice. What can you let go of right now? And what can you invite in for these 20 minutes together? Let's open the eyes, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands to the back of the head, clasp the fingers, open the heart space, let the head be cradled in the palms, thumbs pressing into the sides, the neck, shoulder blades down the back. So a slight back bend, but not overexerting ourselves. So already in the practice, exerting boundaries that keep our hearts open, but not our backs breaking. So integrity in the spine. Find a focal point looking up, 
breath is moving in and out of the nostrils. Let's inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands down to the knees. Inhale, pull the chest forward, open the heart space, look up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, pull forward, open. And exhale, round in. Inhale, open. And exhale, round in. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Bring the right hand to the right side. Left arm stretching up and over. Get nice and long through the left side body. Press the right palm in and look towards the left. Can bring the left hand behind the head. Open the heart space. Come back through center, left, left hand down, right arm up and over. We'll look towards the right and the right hand can come behind the head, open the heart space. And reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the knees and let's come into tabletop position. So in tabletop position and move slowly as we transition from one thing to the next. A lot of times, just like in life, we rush from one thing to the next. The same on the yoga, the yoga mat, really enjoying the transition integration. Let's take an inhale, let the belly drop, look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Bring the palms one palm forward and fingertips out towards the edges of the mat. Bring the knees closer together, but not touching and sweep the hips to the right. Open the heart space. So you're going to get into the side body. Now it might feel a little awkward at first. Sweep the hips all the way back to the left side. Open the heart space. Sweep back to the right. And let the chest come through center like a little baby seal. Press through the palms, lift the thighs, open the heart space. Move to the left and let's take some circles. Open the heart space. Move in circles. Let's move in the opposite direction when it feels right. Last one and come back up through center. Palms back a bit, tuck the toes under, press back and up, downward facing dog. So you can pedal out here if you like. Get some length through the back line of the body. Really press down through the palms, let the head drop so that we can relax the neck. And very slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Folding in, take the hands to the back of the calves and fold in. Let the head drop down. Get nice and long through the back line. If you need a micro bend in the knees, do. If you can slowly straighten over time, beautiful. Relax your shoulders, relax the neck. So a lot of times when we are being guided, by someone like me in a yoga class or just in life. The body freezes up, we immobilize because we're listening to the next direction. But in your own focus, in your own body, really focus, where is the tension? Where is the contraction? Can you loosen a little bit more on each exhalation? Bring the hands to the shins, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Inhale, reach up and get a slight back bend. Exhale, bow down. Inhale up, halfway hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to a plank position, top of a push-up. Straight line of energy from crown through heels. Pull the belly in, slight rounding of the upper back. Find integrity in the spine. Focus on the breath. Nice and strong in the arms. Can you focus when it gets a bit challenging or do you want to run? Very metaphorical of life as well. Do we run when things get just a little bit tough? Use the core, draw the hips back and up, downward facing dog. You can let out a sigh. Big toes closer together. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip open over the left. Draw some circles with the right knee. Draw the opposite direction. Lift the right leg up behind you. Step the right foot through and reach the arms up high, lunge. Deep bend in the right knee. Slight bend in the left knee. Press the left leg nice and straight back. Relax the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Hop the left foot in just a bit. Set the left heel down. Straighten the right leg and fold over the right shin. You can walk the hands back behind you and really square the hips. If you've got a really rounded upper back, I encourage you to stay on the fingertips or get a block or some couch cushions to bring the earth closer to you. We want to keep the spine as straight as possible. Bend the right knee, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. Bend the left knee, stack the left hip open over the right. Find some circles with the left knee. Find the opposite direction. Lift the left leg up. Step the left foot through, deep bend in the left knee, reach the arms up. High lunge, slight bend of the right knee, and then straighten the right leg. But keep a micro bend just to make it a little bit stronger. Strengthen that left leg, relax the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Straighten the left leg. Pull the right foot in just a bit. Right heel sits down. Straighten the spine as you fold over the left shin. Fingertips can come back behind you. Fold in nice long spine or bring that couch cushion up for some support or some blocks. And because we're working with focus and choice, you're here. So anytime we choose anything in life, fully choose it. Just be in it for that moment. Because as soon as you know it, we'll be moving to another position, another thing, another stage in life. Slowly step forward, fold. See, it happens fast. Fold in. Inhale, reach up, slight back bend. And exhale, hands to the heart. We'll go through a couple of rounds of sun salutations just to get the energy moving. 
Then again, each breath, move it in and out of the nostrils and just stay focused. Find your focal points and see how much you can stay in that seat of presence and choice. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Move nice and slow. Enjoy every part of the journey. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank position. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, come down halfway. Inhale, forward to the tops of the feet, open the heart. Exhale, use the core, draw the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands, take your time. You can even kind of bring the toes up as you come forward and get more length through the back line. Inhale, come up halfway, use the core. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to a plank position. Inhale. Exhale, come down halfway. Inhale, forward, or Vamukha Svanasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, draw the hips back and up, use the core. Sigh it out if you like. Release any uns or any stuck energy in the body. Walk the feet forward. Maybe as you come forward, the toes come up so you get even more length through the back line. Fold in. Inhale, come up halfway. Hands to shins, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and find grace with each movement. Exhale, hands to heart. We notice... That when we move a little bit slower, hands alongside the body, that we become more graceful in the way that we move in our practice and in our lives. Inhale up. Each movement connected to the next. Exhale, fold. A thread of choicefulness in each moment. Inhale halfway. We find the dance of flow. Exhale down. Plank position. Pause. Breathe. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, forward, open the heart. And exhale, use the core. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. And this is when we begin to find flow, just not on the mat, but in life when everything is a choice, not just A and B, but the entire journey. Let's take an inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, step the right foot through, left knee down, hands to the top of the right knee, open the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the back of the head, open the heart space, lift out of the lower back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, right hand down on the back, heel, left arm stretching up and open. Inhale, back, down, hands to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through, right knee down. Hands to the top of the left knee, sink in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the back of the head, open the heart space. Lifting the chest up towards the ceiling or sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist open. Left hand to the right heel, right arm stretching up and open. Can you find your grace even when it's challenging, even if you fall over or you go, Ugh. find a way to breathe, be in the difficulty and stay with it. It's not always easy. So inhale, reach up. Then exhale, hands to the earth, step back, downward facing dog. 
Let's walk the feet forward to meet the hands. As you come forward, bring the hands to the lower back. Make a fist. Press the fist up behind you. Let the head drop in as we open the shoulders, the deltoids. Stillness, silence, reflection. Are you still choosing? Are you getting distracted? Can you stay here? Can you be here? See the complexity and the simplicity of the layers of what your presence brings to any specific moment. Let go of the bind. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands down alongside the body. And let's find a little bounce and a shake. Let the shoulders dance in the sockets. A little wobble, a little twerk with the legs, shake the booty. And you could push the pelvic floor a little bit forward. And this is actually really activating for any stuck energy in the hips. Shake the shoulders. Come forward. Shake, 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 shake. Again, a little hop as you stand. Get a little weird with it. And come into stillness. Ground down through the feet. You can feel the heart beating a little bit faster. <sighs> Notice anything that your body wants to do. Do you want to sing? Do you want to hum? Do you want to sigh? Do you want to cry? Do you want to laugh? We have this beautiful tool literally in our hands, our body to express ourselves and how we're affected by the world. So most importantly, can we just be focused and choose us? Can we choose us? So internally in your mind, just eyes closed, soft shoulders, just standing in pride and comfort. In the words, I choose me. I choose this. I choose this inhale, I choose this exhale, I choose this moment to feel what it means to be alive, to feel what it means to be alive in myself. I choose this, I choose me, I choose this, I choose me. I choose this, I choose me. Bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Deep breath in, deep sigh out. Still with the eyes closed, just last moments to say in an overstimulated world where novelty is in every corner in what we eat and what we drink and the music that we listen to the movies that we watch the people that we spend our times with the relationships that we get into there will always be something new there will always be something different there will always be something else and if we're not careful, we can be interested in everything and committed to nothing. So in your practice, in your breath, in your life, figure out what you're feeding, what you're choosing. And choose it powerfully, not just for the external world, but for yourself. Focus your energy, feed what fuels you. Let's take an inhale, reach up. Big toes together. Exhale, come onto the tiptoes, diving forward slowly, 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 like you're diving into a pool. Fingers down to the earth, bend the knees. Come down to a seat. Sitting up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. Returning to where we began. Hands together, bowing head to heart. 
May we each find the grace to make the choices that serve us in our highest. Namaste. Hmm. Thank you, dear yogis, for being here. Please do subscribe to the channel. Share if it feels resonant for you. And may we spread the medicine of self-inquiry, self-love, choicefulness with self. Because this is where it all begins. It's like, I choose me. I choose this. If you are interested in working together in other capacities, I lead retreats and trainings. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with different clients and I am open. So do reach out to echoflowyoga.com or our echo, like ours, on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me at all the places or email me at echo at echoflowyoga.com for further inquiries. Have a beautiful journey. Thank you.